Is it possible to create butterfly from dots? I'm going to show you not one, not two, but actually three gorgeous examples how and where to place the dots to make the most beautiful, magical butterflies. Let's grab some tools, water, paint, brushes, watercolor paper, and let's just start painting. To start with, I'm just checking the colors and trying to figure out what kind of color combination I wish for my butterfly. Every time I post a video about butterflies, uh, when I play with the dots, I have been asked, Marta, how much pigment should I add to my dots? How much water should I add? And the answer is, it really varies. The dots, the amount of pigment and water, everything depends from your trials, from the brand of paints you have, how much your actual paints are pigmented and how much of darkness you like. The more pigment you will add, the darker butterfly probably will be. And also, uh, the more water you will add, the better movement of the color you will get. But also, you may have nearly too much water, so you may end up with a little bit of a muck in the paint. So again, my biggest suggestion is please try it for yourself several times. Here on the screen, I have given you a little tip of one of the examples how to place your dots and honestly, in the whole video, in all three um, butterflies, I haven't planned exactly my dots. This video is also a trial, it's experiment. I have been just pressing play and record and just trying out and see what kind of combination of dots I'm gonna show it to you. I kind of wanted to make sure that all three examples are pretty simple, easy, at the same time, similar but a little different. You can see that I have quite a number of water on my brush and probably one of the most important part is that this brush that I'm using right now, it is a flat brush. And I think it's not very much uh, known or used by watercolor artists in that kind of way of painting because I think most people would use round brush, brush basically, which I'm kind of breaking that habit and how about using a flat brush? This one is watercolor brush, but honestly, I have done previously, the previous videos with the regular brush, it was from hardware store. So trust my word when I say use what you have, grab the paints that you already own, grab the brush that you already have and try your hand. The thing with the watercolors is that you kind of probably need a watercolor paper as the most important part. And the reason for that is if you're not going to have a watercolor paper, your water and your pigment will not be moving around too much. It will sink into your paper. So my suggestion when you start up your watercolor journey, make sure you do have a watercolor paper my second butterfly and again a different kind of composition this is going to be slightly smaller and i'm also experimenting with amount of um, pigment i have in my dots the amount of water you can see on different angles that uh, sometimes it's less sometimes it's more and honestly every single butterfly for me it's a uh, it's it's really a surprise it's really experiment and i have mm, maybe half of the time I'm kind of guessing what's gonna happen. I'm sort of learning how to do things. So I'm also somehow can predict a little bit, but not always, honestly, not always. I'm changing, as you can see, my jar to make sure that the water that I'm using for the um, butterfly right now for the wings it's clean and clear and also when you press on your dots make sure that you kind of at the angle of mm, possibly not 90% but actually maybe 25% down uh, to the the paper as you can probably see on this camera angle that I'm lying down nearly those uh, bristles and also I'm making the shape really while you are creating the butterfly from dots uh, it's not that it's always the perfect shape on both sides especially that if you will have a look I am using both hands which is probably tricky for many people uh, but I'm just mastering my uh, non-dominant hand to be able to use actually um, 
and paint with right hand. I'm left-handed from from always, so painting with right hand it's quite a challenge, but I'm getting better and it's working phenomenal. But then with the small brush, as you can see, I'm adding a little elements. I'm kind of making everything kind of the same, like a mirror effect sort of because truthfully they are not going to be exactly the same. It's not a stamp that you just press it and it's there. It's a little bit of a, a journey, a little bit of a job to actually make sure that our butterfly is kind of the same on both sides. It's a, such a satisfying uh, job. I love this way of painting because it does give me a, a heads up of how to place my dots and then how to run with my wings. And at the same time, when everything is sort of done, I can move my bristles, my uh, brush a little bit here and there, here and there, making sure that I'm making the, the, the shapes pretty similar. Now, this one is going to be kind of melting butterfly. I love that technique. I love to have little elements hanging around from my wings so it's more magical imaginary butterfly again what I'm showing you right now it's kind of the basic steps of starting the general look for the butterfly just so you have the idea in three times sort of trials how to make the butterfly and also for you to see that truthfully every butterfly it's different even though i'm starting with the dots i'm having sort of the same beginning it is coming out a different way it has different shape and i don't think i am able to really recreate the butterfly at this point i don't think i am maybe later when i'm gonna master it myself i will be able to recreate exactly i'm trying to sometimes be inspired by other butterfly but it's still a little bit different to the original inspiration so that's the beauty of this technique and not only this the beauty of art in general the beauty of watercolors is that every time the pigment will flow differently because we're going to have different amount of pigment different amount of water so that's going to change the whole outlook of our painting my huge suggestion is please 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 make sure to try make sure to start make sure to do it with me and um, when i made the very 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 first butterfly i really had no idea which kind of direction my brush should go how i'm gonna hold the brush it was a trial and i was like it's not happening the flowers are grand but the butterfly it is not happening marta but i just felt like i love butterflies in our journaling that i love as well i have been doing butterflies for the last years and it's my signature thing if i don't know what to do on the project I'm just adding butterfly basically. So I thought, Marta, you, you kind of, not that you have to, but it would be great to learn how to paint a butterfly. And every time I tried to do it in the past, it was just not happening. It was just, it didn't feel symmetrical enough or something, even though those butterflies, they're not symmetrical exactly. They're not identical on both sides of left and right wings. However, they are symmetrical enough and also, I guess, uh, they're magical enough. Look how different this uh, selection of dots is and how gorgeous uh, that's coming out. Again, you can be really free in the way that you're putting your um, dots and experiment don't be afraid and just go with it just start just play just paint the thing is uh, with the watercolor it's very forgiving you can possibly redo it again move the pigment slightly and it's gonna be fine i am just adding little elements to our um wings and i'm just making the shape with the brush adding here and there pigment adding here and there water just making sure that on the both sides it's pretty similar that it's quite alike and i'm adding extra elements i like that idea i like the idea of having um a little bit of uh, more free lines on my butterfly that it's not as perfect that it is like as if maybe broken nearly as if the wind sort of moved it around and it's just i don't know that, that, that the wings are just slightly destroyed if i can say that i like that i think it's the most artistic one this particular butterfly it came out gorgeousness i think from all three butterflies this one the shape of this butterfly was the most favored by my emily my daughter and honestly i think i loved it as well when it's going to be finished finished completely 
completely you're gonna see the difference in between all three butterflies as you can tell right now and um, even though I had my dots we painted the butterfly I still feel oh I really am feeling there's not enough pigment maybe on the edges especially the edges I like having them darker usually either I doodle darker or add paint like right now and look at these elements hanging from the wings it is so cute so pretty and just adding extra pigment wherever i feel like it because it's okay to paint afterwards even though your startup was the dots and don't treat it that this is it what's on the dots that's on my wings that's on my butterfly no you can go back to your design you can do it something else. You can add the color, add the pigment, change the the whole outlook of your butterfly. It's okay. Like there's no rules. The only rule is, the only limitation is in your mind, in your head or in your thinking that, wow, is it good? Is it wrong? Am I breaking any rules? Break the rules. Do however it feels right. Just do however you love and feel comfortable with my only suggestion is just try go with it and don't give up on the first butterfly don't give up on the first wing and if it's really bad looking just throw it away start over start over that's okay pause my video and just try it with me exactly as i have done start with less maybe dots rather than so many see in all three butterflies which butterfly would work best for you that you will feel the most comfortable maybe less dots smaller butterfly a tiny smaller design will make you feel more comfortable and then you can experiment more add little lines little embellishments on the butterfly and just play it around and just make it quirky and funky magical and different i love that i have to say that a couple of weeks ago when i was trying to learn the butterflies i thought that no it's not my thing honestly i prefer the flowers they do work out every time i just so mastered them and i love them and enjoy them but now after because after these three butterflies that you see today i've painted another three which are gonna come on the channel very soon completely different each so different with amazing shine amazing amazing paints that I discovered, amazing glitter, you have to come back and see it. Um, but I just wanted to say that now I am in love with butterfly painting. I was scared of it, honestly. I thought that I'm just not good enough. Nah, I'm just not that great to, to, to pursue that forward, to discover in that journey. But actually I was so wrong because I was, instead of giving up, you should keep on going. And that's exactly what I did. I thought, you know what? No, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try this uh, dot. I'm going to try this movement. I'm going to try that much water. I will see. And also sometimes it helps to change the maybe brand of the paints because some paints may just not flow the way as you would love and you may feel discouraged so it's okay to actually try and maybe change it and maybe go for um, different colors different brands and see if the pigment will just look better and work for you better to be very honest now we can see all three butterflies i tried to make them a little bit different so one is more into blue one is more into pinky and another into purple and you can see all three um, designs of the dots and how different they look but at the same time they are all butterflies right it depends what you prefer what you like the most you can try them all you can try one you can just decide for for whatever you like and also you can just place the dots and the colors however it feels right just go for it just experiment i have to say it's such a pleasure to play around to doodle around those uh, wings and just go with it i suggest you as well which would be fantastic when you are trying your design when you are there with your hand and your your a uh, pen please relax your hand <sighs> it's not a mathematics it is not a perfectionism design it is just a free-handed something it is it's your own thing it's there is no rule that it has to be like in the coloring book that you can't step out of your lines and you cannot color outside of lines absolutely you can even look at those lines if you have a look closer look i'm redoing the lines but they're not perfect i'm not one line on top of another i'm quite a lot of time missing it out and my line is it not it's not straight one is not covered the other and it's okay 
I think the less perfectionism makes it way nicer. It is just so pretty. It is just so gorgeous looking. I think that what makes the butterfly super, super special. I, I feel it, honestly. Now, adding clear extra touches on the edges, making it a little bit darker, just to build it up. The whole doodling part, the same with the flowers, it is very much, honestly, time consuming. And look adding little touches you will see for yourself from doodling to colors like now i'm using oil marker actually which is very different to my standard products that i would try it out um i'm gonna try to give you links as much as i can in the description box for everything that i have used so check it out um but also even using on the watercolor using oil pass uh, oil yes these are oil pastel color i mean po <laughs> I mean pastel colors in the oil markers like using them or watercolors I don't think I've like it, I'm really truly experimenting and I'm enjoying it so much I'm finding so much happiness and joy in discovering different usage of different products and I suggest you the same I have I can bet with you you have tons of products that they are lying around for years you don't know how to use them on what do you know what just use what you have just grab the colors that you have I literally have used those um, acrylic markers no sorry oil, oil markers for the very first times for the very first time sorry for my English I'm not English speaker and um, English is my second language so I, I could have some troubles uh, and also when I try to speak a lot and so much because I'm enjoying this conversation with you right now I may have like a, like yeah trouble with speaking in English but I just wanted to say that I'm finding such a joy in using products that I have never used before and also honestly I have been using these oil markers only for those butterflies which is amazing because they probably have been created for something definitely something else maybe poster painting drawing whatever mm, some maybe I don't know like a graffiti or something which now I am using oil pa oil markers on the watercolor so my suggestion is my beautiful friends don't be afraid of your products grab what you have and see for yourself you can make a mistake and that's okay don't like I think making mistakes it's totally doable it's totally acceptable and it's actually so much fun with the mistakes with some errors you will learn you will your trials are your learning and it's fantastic like I love I wasn't sure to adding yellow to that butterfly honestly I was not too sure but I thought you know what I have only six colors I have no other option let's just add the yellow this time for the pink for the purple why not and look at it it is just gorgeousness I think it's working so so very well so very pretty you just have to believe in yourself and that's what I'm trying to tell myself I remember when I started with the flowers as well with the butterflies I was like Marta you can master it Marta you can really like I can see potential in your dots painting it will come out gorgeous and you know what with each trial with each butterfly with each flower it does work wonders it makes wonders I don't know how to say it it works great <laughs> basically what I'm trying to say so um also doodling around is probably not something normal watercolor artist would do but hey we are here to have fun there is no rules you can doodle around you can doodle with your um, with your marker which you, you can doodle with your pen pencil whatever it feels right for you I suggest you to just go with it and try it um, I have to say that I always wanted to master the watercolors and I just found it intimidating so much is it intimidating yes I was just intimidated by the by what's what was around me I just didn't feel that I can produce the work that will be like I don't know how to explain it I just didn't feel good enough honestly I just felt that I can't be doing realistic looking butterfly because I'm ending up with something that it's just not looking that well and discovering that I can actually do however it feels right however it feels good and just make your own make my own sort of a shape of the butterfly whether my my body is a bit thick or a bit thin or whether the antennas are this or that do you know what it is your vision at the end of the day so I suggest you to enjoy your vision and just master it just try your best and sometimes I've been asked as well Marta but what like what I'm gonna do with these you can fasticate them easily 
and add them on any card. Butterfly can be just super awesome for whatever, for for a um, birthday card, for thank you card, for hello card, for good luck card, like for everything. Like butterfly is such a great little design, little embellishment element. Same for the flower, it matches nearly everything. So honestly, you can paint those and you can you can scan them into your computer and you can also reproduce them if you wish. You can make some digital papers with your own designs. That's what you have been suggest suggesting to me. Marta, why don't you make some digital papers with the flowers and with the butterflies? So maybe that's exactly what I'm going to do when I have a chance. <laughs> but it's sometimes not easy. I hope you don't mind that I have been speeding up some parts of the process because I felt that how much doodle you can watch here. So some of the parts were speeded up because they're quite straightforward. I think the biggest part and the most important part is to get the shape right. It's to get the idea of the butterfly itself, how to go with that flat brush, and work around the amount of pigment, amount of water. I think master that, try it out, and then adding elements and just playing around with the embellishing your butterfly, it's like up to yourself. You can do glitter, you can do uh, markers, you can do crayons, you can do whatever it feels right. I just really wish to encourage people to try. You know, and over the years, I'm on YouTube 10 years, not on this channel, on my other channel, Marami Small Art. I've been doing videos and YouTube videos for 10 years, teaching people art journaling, mixed media, also some bit of watercolors in the past. I always had in the back of my head, I really wish people to just basically start. And that's the same now with the watercolors, with the designs that I came up with, the idea of making them simple enough or doable enough or not intimidating that people will actually, people, I mean you, you, everyone will just be able to grab their pens and just start and just do something with, with it because we often find ourselves as well we watch those videos but we never pause we <laughs> we never actually do any action so my suggestion is get your paints out pause my video have it play next to you pause it do exactly what i'm doing this is all how we learn by um not it's not imitating imitating imitation that's i don't know if it's not the negative way of saying it but by copying exactly or similarly it's okay like you can absolutely do that um just to make sure that you have the idea rough idea of how things have been done i also wanted to show you that you know my butterfly the the body of the butterfly it's doodled here in the previous butterfly it was painted honestly it's up to yourself and also this butterfly it's more special because this one the third one it's more loose and I, i'm more comfortable on the third butterfly which is this one and i'm like going around with that pen a little bit nearly too much it's like you will see in a minute that the, the pen is everywhere it's like really all over the place it's definitely not the lines are not on the butterfly either it's like outside the butterfly it's like everywhere and it's okay I think it's fantastic to just let loose just go with the flow just enjoy the process just zoom, zoom, just loosen up your hand just use your product and enjoy that I really hope you enjoyed that chit chat of mine if you know me long enough you know that I'm a chatter and I think the voiceover chatting me here with you today it's probably hopefully encouraging you to try and that's the main thing that I wish you to do so and thank you so very much for watching my videos. I can promise you more is coming because uh, you've been asking for more and more. And it's balm on my ears. I love making videos for you. And I think the dragonfly is my next challenge for you and myself as well. Someone have left, left the comments today. How about the dragonfly? So I'm thinking, yes, I can do that. So hopefully a dragonfly idea for the next videos as well will be coming your way very soon. Mm, I've, I've done three more videos, I think, uh, with the butterflies. I also have some more flowers. So there's plenty coming your way, I can promise you that but in the meantime instead of watching my videos pause it please pause it grab your paints and that's what I love about watercolors in general you don't need a lot just some basic uh, supplies and you can just go just do it just enjoy it so I love this butterfly the most from all three I wonder which is your favorite one two 
or three. This one is my absolute favorite. I thought that the design is phenomenal. The the doodling around it, it's phenomenal. It's just so loosened. It's like thread nearly around it and I love it. I think I'm going to repeat that in some other butterflies. And I also think that the coloring is quite spectacular here. And funny enough, in the middle, there is like this dark, it's kind of brownish nearly, like a dirty pink, but kind of brownish color. So yes, experiment with the colors, mix and match and see which is working well with each other. Pink and brown, purple, red, they all happy family colors. They could be great with each other. So here are the three butterflies done. I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Um, yes, let me know your thoughts. I cannot wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, a pleasure to be in your home. Uh, so yes, happy painting, my friends. And I'll chat to you very, very soon. I promise you to be back sooner than you think. Pause this if you wish to do exactly as those dots. And there you go. Voila, you can do your beautiful, gorgeous butterfly. I believe in you. Have fun painting and I'll chat to you soon. Bye bye.